Hi everyone, welcome to Talk Black. I'm your host Kelly K, and today we have a special guest with us, another special guest. And to me, she has the voice of an angel that rivals the likes of Beyonce and whoever out there that sings. This is Rachel Kerr. <laughs> I'm so good, thank you. I'm good. good. Yeah. Good. You've been busy. So busy. What have you done lately? Oh, um, I have been in Africa. I've been in America. I've been in Europe. Um, I've been launching businesses internationally, and wow. it's been a blessing. It really has been. It's been busy. I'm tired, but I'm so blessed. It's okay. We're all tired. <laughs> right. yeah. Exactly. Of course, of course. Um. So how did you start off as an artist? Um, I started off how, to be honest, many people started off in church. Um, uh, <laughs> my dad was a quite well-known gospel singer and uh, at my church, before you even speak, they tell you to go on stage and to bless the congregation. So from very, very early on, I was singing in church. Um, I used to go to a lot of youth groups. I loved youth groups. I'd sing a lot in that. And um, yeah, any competition, any s school um, choir, young competition that was out there, I'd do it. And um, I just love being out there and seeing how people were touched by what I could do. Nice. Yeah. Speaking of competitions, you won a few awards. Mm. Tell us which ones you've got. <laughs> I'm also awkward saying, well, I won. No. Yes. <laughs> do that, you have to. Go on. Well, I've been fortunate to win quite a few things. Um, I think probably the most recent, one of the most notable Notable ones was um, the mobile award that I won oh, a long ago. Yeah, um, but I've been, I said, acknowledged by quite a few different forums the um, Music Awards, um, GMA Awards, um, Tour Awards, quite a few people. So I've been really, really blessed to not only do what I do, but to be acknowledged as well. You got a Grammy coming up, right? Well, um, I am on the Grammy, um, Grammy Association, so we get a chance to, you know, decide who the nominees and winners are, and of course get a chance to go to the Grammys every year, which nice. is always really cool. For free. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know, I'll call you. <laughs> but um, no, it's been so great. It's cool. Yeah. It's pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Speaking of great, you've met a few great people. Mm, mm. Bill Clinton, mm -hmm. David Cameron. Mm -hmm. Who else is on that? Oh gosh. To be honest, th there have been there have been a few people. I think everyone's great. Anybody who loves good music is great, but to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but to be honest, <laughs> there have been some people obviously who've been pretty cool to me. Um and one thing I was saying before was it's amazing that all the governors and presidents and um even just famous people that I've been able to meet and sing for, they're so humble. Some of the most powerful people, even Bill Clinton. I remember I was in my dressing room and I got a knock at the door. What? And he walked in with like 15 um, security guards with him, all with guns. And I was like, Lord have mercy, what have I done? Um, <laughs> I don't want to say <laughs> honestly. But um, he just came and just basically said, Listen, I had to come and find you and say, You were amazing. I was speaking to somebody on my table and they must have thought I was so rude because I was getting distracted by your voice. But I had to come and say, Well done. Um, we'd love for you to come and do more stuff. It, it was just so humble and so lovely, as was David Cameron. Such a sweet man. Um, so yeah, it's, it's great when you get a chance to meet great men, but it's nice when you actually look at them and say, Wow, you're a great person as well. And humility is always something that I respect. That is a good trait. Yeah. I try yeah. to be humble sometimes in life. <laughs> As a fanboy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, don't mind me, I'm just being silly. Um, so, in terms of music, like, what genres would you put yourself in? Um, great question. Honestly, I have been given so many different genres. I think comprehensively, though, it's probably soul music. Um, I love soul, I love R&B, I was raised on it um, and instinctively whenever I'm asked to write for another artist or when I'm in the studio for myself, that's the first thing you can instinctively, instinctively say, ah, oh, that's soul music, that's R&B music, that's 
you know, music of black origin. And that's me all day. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, you're going to write for me someday, right? Why did, I didn't call me. Call I've been me. waiting, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do a game. Right? Okay. It's called The Sing Off. Mm-hmm. Don't walk me too bad. I'm, <laughs> I'm still trying. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not easy. Okay. So I've got three songs, right? Okay. First one. Mm -hmm. Drake song like bling. I'm like, okay. So okay. I'm going to sing and then you're going to put your spin on it. Okay. How does it go again? <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know the song, I'm, right? I, I know a little bit of it. Yeah, I do. I do. All right. Give us what you know. On me first. Yes. Pink in your click. So bad. So oh. at least I've got metronome. I know when my heart like bling Woo! Mm, that girl only me one thing hey. I know when my heart like bling Ooh, That girl only me one thing Ever since so I don't know the rest of it let, let me not even embarrass myself No, it's cool! I would be dabbed on the beat, it's fine <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was the first one That was good, that was but, good He's a singer, so you have to go now I will go! Okay Okay, let's go. you ready? Let's go you I know when my heart like bling that can only mean one thing. I know when I holler and blame. Okay, that's good. Hey, no, but My I was liking the swag. <laughs> <laughs> I was liking the swag with you. I was about to come and shock you with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm going to go quite quite old, quite afro. Okay. Two faces, I think we're queen. Okay. You know it, right? I know it. I know it. Okay, I'm going to go first. Let's go. Because... We all know you're gonna upstage me anyways, <laughs> so like you know, I have to go first. <laughs> okay. I can't remember the songs, it's really bad. Oh, oh, oh. See, it's not about conversations, it's about helping each other. You see what I did there? Yes. <laughs> you are my African queen, the girl of my dream. Mm -hmm. I don't know the rest. Mm -hmm. you, you take me where? Never been. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, cool. Really? It's my turn, right? Yeah, I was hoping that, okay, my heart's racing. You are my African queen. Ooh. The girl of my dreams. Wow. You take me where I've never been. You make my heart go ding a ling a ling. You are my African queen. You are the girl of my dreams. You take me where I've never been. You make my heart go ding a ling a ling. <laughs> I'm just so showing off. Let me just calm down. <laughs> you don't make me cry. That was so good. Thank you. So I'm not going to give you the third song because. No? You just. I was even just warming up. Wow. Yeah. Okay, now you just show it up. <laughs> you stop. <laughs> Let me be okay. this one. I heard you like Lauren Hill. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Lauren Hill song? I, oh gosh. Well, I actually opened up for Lauren Hill recently. I was what? talking with her about a month ago. And um, you know what? Can I just say something? Again, with Lauren Hill, my favorite song would probably still be Killing Me Softly. Okay. But what's amazing about her is imagine your icon calling you into her dressing room and saying, Listen, the song you wrote, there's a song you wrote that I love. Could you sing it for me? I looked at her and there's just God like a almost. moment of silence to right. appreciate that moment. Amazing. It was literally <laughs> God himself who held me up because I was like, if he wanted to be So I still hold my hand for her. She was like, that's one of my favourite songs. Oh. I love that song. I've actually put it on my Instagram. But for her, again, amazing humble talent, um, amazing icon. But I think Killing Me Softly to this day is my favourite song. Do you want to cure them softly? <laughs> your vocals? Okay. Um... Strumming my pain with his fingers Singing my life with your words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life with his words Killing me softly with his song. <laughs> yeah, I met the note there. Did you get, did you get it? Oh, okay, as long as you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Is it, is it hard?
hot in here. I was thinking you. Oh know. my god, that was so good. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Thank you. I think I'm Star Trek. I can't do my job anymore. <laughs> Somebody help. <laughs> awesome. Wow. No, I really can't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I won't sing again, I promise. No, it's cool. The, the game was, it was good. I feel good. Okay, you're married. Mm -hmm. Is it true that your husband is your manager? My husband is, <laughs> to be honest, I think to say he's my manager is like a massive understatement. He is a serial entrepreneur. So he has a number of different businesses and one of them happens to be a music management company. Nice. And I'm signed to his music management company. So it's yes, but he does so many other things. Yes, just be my, yeah, yeah <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm signed to his company. But um, yeah, he does a number of things. But yeah, I'm signed to his company. And how is that working? Great. I mean, funny enough, before um, my husband became a husband, um, I actually met him through his achievements as a businessman. Yeah. Um, I was actually an editor of a magazine that was celebrating black excellence. And um, he... So you met like this? So, kind of, yeah. What? Yeah. No way. That's it. And he um, was asking me, um, I was asking him about his achievements and what he'd done. And um, it was through that, actually, we started talking and being friends. And I got involved with, obviously, his company, Elegance Management. Oh, yeah, I, I, this thing. I love when black people are doing their thing. And I like how the fact that we both look good, we look like quite elegant Thank right you. now. You know? Thank you. I'm trying, I was trying to keep up with you. So, what? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Don't lie to me. <laughs> Amazing. It's always a pleasure meeting you. Like, this is the first time we've actually had a conversation. Right, right. But I remember the first time we met. I was passing and you were passing. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it was my first ever fashion show and it was um Rick the Royal UK. I remember, 2014. I remember that. Amazing moment. Like, yeah, it was just so much fun. Oh. Thank you for coming on. Thank Talk you for having me. One more thing. Sure. I'm gonna get serious with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So what what are your opinions on the Black Lives Matter? <laughs> We um, should do that. <laughs> you, you, you ready for this? Oh my gosh. I think that instinctively there is always a race of people who are crowned with excellence. It's just something that's happened throughout generations. And undeniably, when you see African, Caribbean people, there is a, I was even saying to my manager in the car, there's a grace and an excellence that we carry. And it's nothing that's to do with arrogance, it's everything to do with disposition and um, just genetics. There's something great about the people that we are. And what I've noticed is that whenever a people are graced with excellence, you can even look at the Jews, you can look at many different kinds of people, there's a, often affliction that comes with that. Um, but what's happened over the years is that that affliction has become way too common. It's become way too accepted, to the point where now I think it's become systematic. Mm. And when I'm seeing a system that's meant to defend every person, but specifically seem like it's out against one specific people, it's not okay. And What's amazing is now I think people, because of the rise of social media, are starting to see just how systemic and <laughs> how atrocious this problem is. And now we're saying enough is enough. If we are seeing this with cameras, what has been going on without us being physically aware of it? Um, I'm hearing many people say, yeah, black lives matter, but all lives matter. Yeah. But I think the best thing that I heard was someone saying, that's the equivalent of saying, we're all at a table. We're all getting food and you're not getting food. You say, um, I need food. And we all say, yeah, we all need food. Yes, we do. It's true. But that doesn't, come, that doesn't take away from the fact that you're still starving. Mm. So we cannot, ex we cannot ignore a voice that is needed to be recognised because it's something that everyone needs. Um, so at this point in time, black lives do matter. And I think unless they it starts mattering more evidently, not mm. only in society, but in our system, yeah. then there's going to be a problem. And I'm all for unity, I'm all for love, and I'm all for peace, but I'm also for justice. And enough's enough. Enough's enough. And on that note, thank you. <laughs> thank you. For sitting down with me, having a chat, having a sing-off. Mm -hmm. This is Talk Back, Rachel Kirk. Hi guys, I'm Rachel Kirk, and thank you for watching Talk Back.